What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Weston Smith channel. Today we're showcasing some of our favorite aftermarket reel accessories. That is right, the Gomexis Power Handles. We could not be more excited to showcase the install and tell you about our first impressions and review and tell you about these new colors that are on sale now. Thank you Gomexis, by the way, for sponsoring today's video. You guys enjoy. All right, y'all, so this video was absolutely 100% on the list of videos to make, and now one of the most highly requested videos to be made as of the last uh, year, maybe. Out of all the gear we've showcased on the channel, we have found more people are asking questions about these Gomexis real handles than almost any product we use, and they pair so well with our favorite rods that we throw in most videos that it just kind of goes hand in hand, but there's some new colors that just launched and actually a sale going on right now. So I want to tell you guys about that. Get this video up before that sale is over and also talk about some of the highlights and key features, some of the drawbacks you might find with an aftermarket handle like this, as well as just uh, our favorite parts about them. So we're going to jump right in. Before we kick things off, guys, we're actually partnering up with Gomexis to offer one lucky winner over on Instagram a set of both of the new color schemes. The winner is going to be picked on June 28th. Here's what you got to do to win. Details are also going to be down in the description, but you must tag Gomexis underscore US as well as my account Weston underscore underscore Smith on Instagram with any fishing picture that showcases these A27 style handles and you will be entered in to win. We're going to randomly select one winner. It's going to be announced on Instagram on the 28th. Uh, either by story or main page post or both, but go ahead and get entered for a free pair of each new color and these A27 handles, y'all. Let's get into the video. First things first, we got some of the black and green handles to start things off. These are 100 millimeter size, and then you'll see on this Tranks 400, we also have a 120 millimeter size. So you'll notice there's a little bit of a size difference there, right? That Tranks 400 is going to be sporting a larger handle for more cranking power than the average bait caster. I would say you wouldn't necessarily want to put a 120 millimeter handle on your low profile bait casters. But then again, there are some folks who are throwing big baits primarily that are wanting to just slow creep them with those larger handles. So just kind of whatever floats your boat, right? So right this very moment, y'all, there is a sale going on for Father's Day on Gomex's website. You'll be able to get, I believe it's 10% off from now, the time you're watching this video, until June 24th of 2021. If you're watching it later, you're going to probably be paying that full price unless there's another sale running. But these are very budget friendly. You can get four pairs of these handles for the price we paid for another aftermarket set just by itself, just one set that is right there are some jdm options out there that you might pay 200 plus dollars for for one set of handles so it's nice seeing something at a reasonable price that anyone can grab for the reels let's go ahead and talk about this sale it's going to end on the 24th it is 10 percent off and i wanted to tell you guys if you're going to place an order for these check their reel sizing table so if we go to support you'll see product fitment table on their website and so in here you can look at the different size reel handles there's also power knobs there's actually reel handles for your spinning reels. You got tons of options, tons of colors, way more than what you see right here. I'm just showcasing some new colors tonight, being this gray and this black with that almost iridescent, or maybe it, or maybe iridescent's the wrong word. You guys help me find the word I'm looking for in the comments. It almost like changes colors, right? I mean, it goes fantastic with the Scorpion MGL, so I'm just gonna leave that there for y'all's viewing pleasure as we get to this fitment guide. So you'll notice there's a seven by four millimeter reel handle and a eight by five millimeter reel handle. Now I'm not going to go in depth and tell you everything you need to know, but if you click on these right here, what's going to happen is it's going to show you exactly what size you need to order for your reel. That's the main question you're going to have. You want to make sure you're getting the right one. From my experience so far, the seven by four millimeter has been able to accommodate most every one of our Shimano's except for maybe the Tranks. I think it might get that larger size. And the eight by five millimeter is what works with uh, this Daiwa Zillion, for example, and I believe another handful uh, Daiwa reels. But of course, y'all may be looking at another brand entirely, maybe Abu Garcia, maybe you lose, whatever the case may be, uh, just check this sizing table to make sure they make the right size for your reels. Now let's go ahead and jump into some of our favorite features about these handles as well as just kind of the performance upgrades you're getting with them. And then we will go ahead and towards the end of the video showcase the install process very quickly for you guys. A few simple steps. It's probably easier than you may think. I bet you you guys have got the tools right inside the house at the moment, at the garage, etc. And you'll be able to toss these things on in literally minutes. So don't worry about that right there. But skip to the timestamp in the description or pinned comment if you're only looking for the install. 
Let's grab one of these and let's start talking about performance. But first, these two new colorways, man. Whew, let me tell you what. It goes perfect with our brand new reel. This is the Daiwa Zillion right here. This gray and then paired with that silver finish. I mean, it is looking clean. It literally goes hand in hand with this reel. And as far as the feel goes, this TPE material, I mean, it doesn't get like too hot out there in the sun on the boat deck. It doesn't get too cold, a little bit bulkier, easy to grab onto, right? You're not gonna be slipping and fumbling around as you like get a hook set and worry about losing that fish because you've got a smaller knob to grab a hold of. He's got it. He's got it. And then as well as the fact that they're a little bit larger, right? So they're 100 millimeters. I believe the, the standard on a lot of these reels from the factory is maybe somewhere in that 90 millimeter range. So you've just got a little bit more length for more cranking power. That's what you need when you're wrenching in those big fish, as well as throwing larger baits. You'll see a lot of folks that have their big swim bait reels decked out with these aftermarket handles. And what they're looking for is that cranking power, that torque, right? That you're getting all in all a very nice looking and feeling and performing piece of equipment though, a light handle. You've got some high quality bearings inside of these guys, spin them for days, literally smooth, quiet operation. That's what you want. And now quickly taking a look at that Scorpion MGL, you can notice that little side-by-side -side difference at a silver versus black coloration there. And so just be aware of that as you're thinking about tossing these on a certain reel. So just take a good look at the color options. Make sure it's gonna go great with the reels you're throwing. Uh, we do have that new gray color on the Corrado DC, which is a very popular reel. You get rid of that olive green handle you're staring at all day long, and you get something like that nice silver finish with the gray that complements the Corrado DC reel itself. And with that, I really cannot wait to throw this guy out right here. You hear that little zing? You got that DC zing, but you're also hearing the line on the spool, which, uh, which isn't helping its cause. But again, guys, we've been getting so many questions lately after just tossing a handful of the green pairs on a couple of our other reels. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now we absolutely wanted to showcase more options, get some more out here for you guys and let you know about the sale that's going on right now. Simply because it is the best time to buy, right? You cannot beat a sale, man. And you know we wouldn't be throwing these things anymore if we've had them on for the last month. I'd have just taken them right back off if I didn't care for them, but we've really been enjoying the way they feel, the look, the handling, all the above. And a big driving factor to why we like them so much is actually the looks, right? We want to have fun when we're out on the water. We want to enjoy the hobby, our sport, and we want something that's a little bit unique and customized. And so that is exactly what this gives us. I mean, you got to think about like aftermarket wheels on your car. If they're the same size rims, why are you even making these adjustments? People want that customization factor and something that's unique. Everyone's just tossing on some different aftermarket wheels on their trucks these days. They want the look, y'all. And Gomexus provides that look for the anglers out there. So go ahead and grab you guys a handful of sets. Deck out your whole arsenal with these things. I think you're absolutely going to love them as we do. We cannot wait to showcase some more catches on these guys right here, as you've seen in a lot of our recent videos, cranking in a ton with the few sets we already do have installed. And with that, let's take you guys right into the installation. Okay guys, so the first step in the install process obviously is removing the stock reel handle from whatever reel it is you've got. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna unscrew this tiny little screw right there on the end of your handle that's gonna be holding on that little plastic protector. I think that's just more like a weather seal. And so we're gonna go ahead and unscrew that. It could be flathead or Phillips based on the different reels you're using. We had to use a different one for our Daiwa than our Shimano. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Next up, we are going to go ahead and we're going to pop off that plastic piece that kind of protects and weather seals the reel. And that's going to reveal the nut right there that's holding on your handle on your stock reel. We used a 10 millimeter socket to remove this. And so you're just gonna go ahead and loosen that up. It won't take much effort at all. Unscrew it by hand and go ahead and take that off. And that is going to allow you to now pull your stock handle off of your reel. Just know when you remove your handle, you are gonna to wanna to hold your drag down. You're gonna to wanna to keep some pressure on it because it seems spring-loaded and it will pop right off of the reel. So hold your drag star down with a couple fingers and have all your other accessories ready to go and stack back on there. So now that we've taken out all of our accessories from the packaging, we're gonna go ahead and start reinstalling the new Gomexus handles. Now you'll see there's a handful of washers included and that is gonna be if there's any play in your reel. So you'll have a little wiggle sometimes after you maybe tighten that nut back and you have your Gomexus handle installed. And if you have any wiggle, you wanna go ahead and take that off and reinstall with a couple washers on there. For us, we only used one washer per reel handle that we've installed. And in some cases it was one of the thicker ones and in another case it was one of the thinner ones. It just is gonna be on a case by case basis, but just know you have those washers included. And so you would add that on before you put the reel handle on your install process now. And then you're gonna hold all that down as you screw on the nut and you will be all set. Now one of the great things about Gomexus as well is they include right-handed and left-handed nuts 
from the factory right out of the box. So that if you're installing on a left-handed reel or a right-handed reel, they have got you covered unlike a handful of these other manufacturers out there that actually will not include those and you have to buy them separately. Uh, so forget about the cost and expense of that, but also the fact that you might not even know you need to get that nut and your handle is not gonna get installed without it. So you gotta make sure you grab one of those right there. Not with Gomexus, they've got it all for you right out of the packaging. Fantastic. So if you want to even take this off and install it on a different reel down the road, you have that option. So that really covers the install process, y'all. As we said, there is not much to it. Quick, simple, and easy. We love the handles. Go ahead and get you a handful while they're on sale, and we'll catch you guys on the next video where we start cranking some giants on these things. You've already seen it recently with some five-pounders on the John boat with those ones right behind us, but now you get to see these brand new color schemes in action. Can't wait to see them in the sunlight. Until then, y'all, go ahead, drop that like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one if you've got notifications on right otherwise you go miss out peace